Hi guys, how you doing? So, at the beginning of every video, this will be implanted. Implanting things of how I'm trying to uh, dive deep into your subconscious memory. Okay, so tarot cards and stuff will start soon, but if people could literally please leave a timestamp below, so people can, when they see the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, if they've seen it, you can skip through it and then go to the reading, okay? But I very much would appreciate just a moment of your time. So one thing that I really do offer, and it's had great feedback, but it's constant it's constant stuff that comes to me okay so i'm going to teach you about a lot about vi vocabulary but a flare a flare but to focus to focus your energy and direct it to where you're truly supposed to be going of where i can dive deeper into your subconscious memory to literally trigger off the responses of where you find responsibility for one's own actions, okay? Now, a lot of this might seem very kind of physical, but it's physical and metaphysical. It's how we deal things with things in the actual physical that lead to the 3D response of time, which is still time, okay? It's the time of separation that you take where people can take from your subconscious memory and why that is so important and things that people are missing, okay? Because you end up missing in action and not realizing why retrograde still brings the same lesson around again when you think that you've got it, but then someone comes back for round three. 3D, okay, so why it happens in the 3D, because it's an energy tear and an energy flare of physics and also metaphysics, but it's also the response of a flare, so you can have a flare up, flare up and a tear up, but if you have a flare up and a tear up, you're tearing the time space continuum of the seven chakras that run through your body, so this is a lot of stuff that I will teach people about metaphysical and connection of where people still drain your energy psychically. So psychically, it's still projecting forward a focus of where I can focus my energy on your DNA coding system of obviously like the matrix, and it will break down that coding for me that will give it to me to give it to you. It triggers a response. What I've learned through a lot of these Skype call consultations is terms and conditions. It's where there is a term and there's a condition, but there's a condition that's pulled from me that gives it to you. Normally when I speak and I channel, I'm pulling it from you and it's an energy exchange, okay? It's, it's an exchange. So when we learn about energy exchange, it triggers off a response where I can figure out where your coding is of where people are going wrong, okay? But that also pulls it out from me where I learn just as much from you as what you do me. Because sometimes when I'm channeling, it gives you information that is also unlocking those secrets and those depths, depths of desire through Pandora's box. But the depths of desire of all the secrets that are locked away within the subconscious, it pulls them from me to actually give you a response of something that I didn't know myself. So it gives you the information as well as it gives me. So thank you, <laughs> you know, thank you. So I do really much appreciate that because all the people that have returned and people that I deal with on a physical level have had so much great response through how they're now responding to their own subconscious memory because it's fine tweaking your actual your own matrix system of where it will learn uh, hopefully teach you to focus your energy more on the sweet spot where you're unlocking the desire of pandora's box pandora's box does not hold one secret it holds many okay but that is locked and it's not locked down here it's locked in the subconscious memory okay so you will see things appear cards towards the end and it will give you another kind of affirmation or another thing of where I also kind of explain the same kind of thing but slightly differently but the client consultation of Skype calls and other things the exchange of empaths is so important of where trust me you are really missing the secret you're missing the secret and that's why I thought I would leave this on at the beginning for people because it's so important of the first step of what they're really missing and when they go away and you form the separation of oneself is where you end up coming back round for another fight and where it still comes back round as of another lesson with someone else because of a lot to do with what blame is but people think that blame is where you're just physically blaming someone 
there's a lot more depth to it than that. Trust me, there really, really is. But a lot of these secrets and stuff that I give to people will uh, require homework too, but it will give me a lot to give back to you, you know. So there's an exchange of, but um, it really will unlock those secrets of where people are seeking for the answer. It will give you the answer. Trust me, it will put you on your path much, much, much quicker, much quicker. So also over on Patreon, you might find some of these videos in tear where we tear up and we have tier two. Tier two is still a teaching segment that I offer certain videos as well, but there are certain things that I will only do in Skype consultations. Now a Skype consultation is just an equally and vitally important more because uh, what I'm saying it helps me hit that spot of where you can't find it. That's why I dive into your subconscious memory that helps it dive into my subconscious memory that reflects it back from me to you, from me to you, from me to you. And we form a quality of a connection that is pulling secrets from me to give it to you and the secrets from you of where I can explore your dark side for you. <laughs> Scorpio Ascendant. But it pulls that dark side where I can explore your dark side of your subconscious memory that's here that pulls and draws the focus around so you can more focus on oneself of what we say. But self-worth comes in many forms, many, many forms that people miss. OK, but it will help you focus more on your third eye because people empathically, psychically pull from your third eye that pull you directly to focus it on them. That's the, that's the main part of what you miss. So I can help you balance your vision and help you balance your third eye that will draw balance back to you. It will draw what's meant for you back to you, okay? And to me, okay? So that's something that I offer. Scorpio, how are you doing? So we're here with your September. How are you doing, Scorpio? So for your September, but you did have a song that came in. You might be dealing with the Pisces because that came out through the shuffle and all the cards went out and also Aries possible um, or you might have it in your chart maybe but you had a song that came through by Liam Gallagher he didn't actually contact me but part of the song it starts off in my defense all my intentions were good and heaven owns a place somewhere for the misunderstood I know I'll give you blood if it be enough but devil's on my doorstep since the day I was born it's hard to find a sunset in the eye of the storm but I'm a dreamer by design and I know in time We'll put this behind. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for the hurt. I'll be the first to say I made my own mistakes. For what it's worth, I know it's just a word and words betray. But sometimes we lose our way. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> that might mean something to you. But I did pick up, because that was Oasis, so some of you might work in a shopping mall or something. Oasis, but let's see. Um, so Scorpio, Sun, Rising and Venus. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for the hurt and words betray. But sometimes we lose our way. Scorpio, something rising in Venus. Scorpio for September. Two cards. Scorpio. So, the night. So, messages. There's Pisces again. Pisces again. So, <laughs> there's a Pisces again. There's a Pisces again. Uh, fire sign. But this could be a message going out from a Pisces to somebody or to or the, there's a delay in actual there's a lot of growth obviously because there's an idea these are ideas that are coming to one's mind very quickly so there's a someone that wants a response very quickly or there's an idea that someone has a passionate idea a very quick one so it could be like for some of you it might be like a an underlining feeling that someone's about to approach somebody or something's about to happen Okay, because that can be that, because this can also relate to a lot of metaphysical metaphysical connection. You just feel it as a warmth that something's about to happen. It's like the calm before the storm. This is the calm, and this is the storm. So someone's storming in with a brainstorm. <laughs> the brainstorm, that's what I'm picking up, a brainstorm. But uh, a stormy idea, the st calm before the storm. There's someone that's trying to calm their energy down. Um, but there's like a, it's what I'm picking up is like before the calm before the storm, not normally when you're about to receive a mother load of information, it, it feels you just know it as a metaphysical connection or, or an idea. It just enters you very quick. <laughs> what? <laughs> it just enters very quick. So this can be a message. It's just like when you're not thinking about it, bing, because it's the calm before the storm. There's a storm in the key, tea, key, uh, teacup that's brewing, brewing. There's something, there's someone that's brewing, brewing bring up an idea or someone could be brewing herbs and stuff or naturally brewing things 
but that's soon. Somebody might be delaying a message that they want to send, but they're delaying sending a message. <clears throat> it's like the, the, the knowledge and the wisdom is there and the growth is there, but there might be some kind of fear that shall I, shall I, shall I, shall I not, shall I, shall I not, kind of, because it can mean like delays in messages, but there's a lot of passion that someone has for ideas or for a message, but there might be fear because it might be a new person. So this could be you or them. But some of you might meet a new person that can be a fire sign or a Pisces or they have it in their chart somewhere or anybody. So it's a bit of a burden in order to keep worrying probably. There might be a little bit of overburden. So please make sure that you check out your um, soul urge number, your life path number, and your um, karmic number. Karmic number is very important, okay, because it will tell you everything about why everybody goes through their own karma and why it's such a struggle in order to continue to go forward. It's because they have their own stuff to go through, okay. <clears throat> but somebody wants to like move, it's like they want to move on something, but they might feel that they're just delayed in a reaction. This can be a reaction and a counter reaction, but both. It's like the reaction is reacting where it's just like I'm just stuck in the middle with you. Could be a Pisces for some of you. Uh, I'm stuck between distance or travel. I'm just stuck with the situation that I pre present myself as. So if these are ideas, these are ideas about work that you're going to go forward on. Okay, My life might be a bit of a struggle, but it means that you're going forward on an idea because it's not yet been revealed of what the turnout's going to be. There's a turnout someone wants to turn out and turn over turn over mm. turn over but sometimes we lose our way so there's the world so it's definitely it's definitely um, something, so there's the devil making an appearance for some of you, okay? Some moon rising or Venus or it's in someone else's chart that's to do with your family or a person that's around you, um, but that might not be. Um, but you've got the world, obviously, so this might be a date, you see? It could be a date, so you're going out dating again for some of you. It could be a Pisces that's going out dating again, like sending someone messages or being watched via the internet but this is also like really coming up to a very big ending a karmic ending for something could be Scorpio uh, could be any fixed sign but it could be Sagittarius or Pisces but you've got Pisces here this could be a Sagittarius also in their chart uh, but this could also be a friend or a family member um, but something's waiting, something's waiting, there you go, so feeling optimistic now about the future, so you do have Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, again, if not, this is this is optimism and being connected psychically uh, to, to obviously the occult, like, worldwidely, so through Saturn, so it's listening to Saturn that's telling you to be optimistic about the path that you're on, because you're on it, you know, you're in it to win something, <coughs> or someone's in it to actually win you over, <clears throat> Let's just hope it's not do you over. Um, but I'm not picking that up. Mm. See, three is a magic number. We've got 12, which is three. So three is a very good to work with, but it would still relate to one of your numerology, numerology uh, placements within, like I said, life path number, soul urge number destiny number um, but then you've got the moon you see so things are not hidden from the other person it's the stuff that's hidden from you okay so there's a desire but there's communication that could be coming in from it because these are the locked secrets of desire that's why this will also represent uh, Piscean but it could be Pisces Cancer or Scorpio um, <clears throat> but 
there's secrets of desire because these are a lot of secrets and hidden knowledge you know either way you look at it this is someone that's connected with the occult and this is someone that has hidden secrets of the occult okay so they're mysterious but you know like myself Life path, it depends on your life path number. Life path number will always come across as mysterious because it depends on your numerology. You know, you have a lot of intelligence, but different path numbers have different um, gifts, you know, because they do. Because it's either a gift or a hindrance. <laughs> it's either both, but it's a learning lesson of all, okay? But there's an all seeing oracle that someone knows something about a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio also. So you've probably got these in your charts or something like that where someone's trying to find something out someone's a seeker also but if someone is forcing forcing for a truth to be told then it's the truth that they don't know about themselves that's why they might some people might be trying to force the truth out of you because they think that something needs to be told but it's already been told because it's what they're telling themselves you see it's all important of what <laughs> the, the most important prophecy of all is everything that's hidden within you you know it's not what's hidden within them that's what can keep people in a, a desire of either optimism or not you know because some people could be searching for what is it that this person knows now if that's good it's it's received well within power of the akashic records because you form a quality of giving and taking so you give people and you can form a balance but if someone is really 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 trying to find out what's hidden what they don't realise is it's all the stuff that's hidden within them, you know. Um, because there could be a lot of stuff that's hidden from the depths of people, you know. Fire. <laughs> it really does relate to that song. Devil's on my doorstep. <laughs> so the devil's on my doorstep since the day I was born. So it might have a lot to do with a family member or something or a child maybe or a parent. Uh, it's hard to find the sunset in the eye of the storm, but I'm a dreamer by design, and I know in time I'll put this behind. You see, put things behind you because you know in time that you're a dreamer. You're a dreamer by design, and you know in time I'll put it behind. Something's being put behind, or someone's been left behind here, or something. You've got another Piscean here. Someone's like out the door since the DL was born here, like left here and then someone here for different people are continuing on so you've got different placements of people that have got sun moon rising venus and it's code thinking it's co-thinking with like the same star signs are appearing up you know so you could be a pisces dealing with a pisces you could be a scorpio dealing with a scorpio or a water sign you know <coughs> um There's something in here to do with the internet here, here. So whether this is what someone does or doesn't like, I've got no idea. <laughs> now that came up in someone else's reading, no idea, no idea. Someone's got an idea, but someone's got no idea because it's like blind. Okay, blind, blind faith. Blind faith. Someone's going off blind faith. It's just like I'm just faith, faithful, and I am. Like, I just if you're dealing with the Pisces and they're not, that's down to the people. Like, <laughs> but blind faith. Someone has a lot of faith through this card, and it's like blind faith by just going. Now this can lead two ways: the blind leading the blind, okay, or it can just be blind faith where they just go off pure blind faith, okay? And things can that they can do via the internet, literally, okay? But it might be that this could be a new person that someone's been connecting with or want to send a message to, but it's probably not come through and they're going off blind faith or blind date. <laughs> blind date, going on a blind date maybe, on a blind date. And feeling optimistic about it but it's not yet discovered if it's a new person it means that the dating scene is just new so there's a lot to discuss and disclose you know disclosure or disclosure because people will always see because mystery is a history you know <laughs> it is but mystery mis, being mysterious it leads to can leads to a lot of passion you see a lot of passion by being mysterious 
But if people are like spying on other people, you know, it, it takes your focus and your attention away to where it should be. You know, because I've come across people in, in my path that get completely lost by searching for an answer for years, <laughs> for years. You know, and that will just still relate to your family karma or your or any kind of karma other than your numerology. Because your numerology will then represent what house that is in, you know. What planet's in within your numerology will be what it's in within your house, you know. So some of this could be going on in the house where someone's very optimistic about it, but someone's curious about what that actually is. Because this could be Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. Okay, but there's there's like a mirror effect. This is mirror, mirror on the wall. Okay, and there's a lot of mirror, mirror image. Someone's trying to put themselves as a mirror image, as a mirror image. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing uh, mirror work if I was people. I don't like mirrors personally myself. I don't because you can pick out imperfections of mirrors. You're you're your greatest design. Scorpio, you know, you're the greatest design of all as an individual by what you think and feel, you know. You don't need to tell yourself it through the uh, through a mirror. Mirrors can deceive, you know, as we know through reflection. So an actual mirror can make you think all kinds of things. So someone's got a very good plan of thinking up something, but there I am picking up like a mirror image that someone's trying to like present themselves as an image as a mirror image for a mirror someone's trying to wish so you could have um, Aquarius in your chart or they could somewhere because you do have that in one of these signs mirror image but they're also trying to just work on something like perform our art and perfect our lives. Someone's trying to perform their art but perfect their lives more by having equality that that would represent through the star. But they but that would be someone that um, would have a lot of passion and desire for what it is that they want and what they do. But you do have the moon coming up. What else do I see? What else do I see? I can't really see too much. <laughs> it might be because this card's in the way. It's like this card is in the way here. Okay, is what I'm sensing. Is is that whatever this is is here, it's representing a big ending. Okay, but also like you're approaching. So it could be a Leo because I did pick that up in their reading, approaching an ending karmically. So it might be felt where there is something ready to start which is like the calm before the storm it's like a storm in a teacup so someone's brewing up a storm but it might be an energy that's felt where there's a cycle that continues on for some people and that would be your family karma for a lot of you for a lot of you or them would be a lot of family karma you know family stuff internet stuff but family stuff but someone's also trying not to see some it's like someone's doing something on the internet but someone is trying like it's like they don't like what they're doing because they don't want to see what they're doing it's like they can hear what they're doing or they're spying on what they're doing and they can hear it but they don't want to see it it's like someone's watching something on the internet but they're going off either one pure blind faith or two they're actually doing it but it's making their energy extremely heavy for what they're doing so that could just be general energy around or if you're watching particularly or someone's watching you or something particularly on the internet that someone else could be dating or whatever this person's trying to not see it it's like someone might know it 
but they just don't want to witness it. It's like a witness, the silent witness. Do you notice what I'm picking up? Like a silent witness. There's a silence in the air, but there's like a silent whisper, careless whisper. Someone's care. Sorry, but I'm picking up careless whisper, but a silent whisper, like a, t a calm before the tea, the teacup. <laughs> I'm picking up a teacup right at fairground, but um, the calm before the storm in the teacup. Some people could be like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, they do tea leaves or they just do uh, obviously esoteric stuff and or tarot cards and things. But um, storm in the teacup. Because it's like a teacup ride, you know. <laughs> there was another song. Ride. Uh, I forget who that was now. Um. Because it's like someone wants someone to go for a ride. It's like, do you want to come for a ride? Around this here. So it can mean dating. But it's like someone just wants to, but they don't want to see something. It's like, I can see you, but I don't want to witness what it is that... I, some of you could have like a witness to something. Or you've witnessed something. Or they've witnessed something. It's like, oh, <laughs> you know, oh my God, <laughs> what have I just witnessed is what I'm really picking up. But some of it is also like, oh, I don't want to see that. I'm not prepared to see that karma yet because this is all karma. So whether they're watching or not, it's someone that doesn't want to see something or, or, no, or hear something or something like that. They don't want to hear something or they don't want to know something. And they're continuing to do it, but some of you or them are not wanting to witness something on the internet. Or something is being blocked, like someone's trying to block out something via Facebook or, or whatever, you know, Twitter or whatever people do. But someone's, because I'm picking this more up of like Facebook and all that, God knows what else on Facebook. <laughs> But if you're going through a lot of karma, then people do, you know, at the beginnings or what or whatever. But it's like someone's not wanting to. It's like they've blocked something out on the internet because they don't want someone to see them anymore. It's kind of like it's either someone knows and they just don't want to see it anymore, so they've blocked the person because they just don't want anything to do with the internet thing, or they've blocked someone out on Facebook and the other person doesn't like it, or they've witnessed something on it and they're trying to not listen to it. To, to block it out it's like someone's being blocked but it's like a silent witness like I witnessed it silently silently but I'm like there's different people on different things so now someone feels like they're free now to go on to another path that could be new do you know because this would all all have to do with like speaking speaking and talking but it's like someone wants to remain private you know they do want to remain private you know me personally i love my private life even though i give over guidance my life path number would say to me that i like my own time and i like because i'm a life path number seven you know so i like to people would see me as sometimes mysterious but I do like my own time. I divide my own time, and I can do things on my own all, all, you know, all the time. But that would that wouldn't be my fault. That would just be the fact that I'm a life path number seven. Do you get what I'm saying, guys? So it's kind of like someone's looking at someone as like mysterious, of like, oh, what are you up to? <laughs> like, what are you up to? What is it that you're hiding? What is it that you're doing? What is it that you're feeling? You know, because this is feelings, and these are feelings of of like what's feelings of that are hidden inside you and these are the passions and the desire to go forward on both okay so if you look at it as someone that's watching it's like someone that's trying to find out what it is that you know spiritually but also what you know of secrets about that too so that can either be good or bad i i, I don't know and i can't tell people you know but someone's got a locked secret of like pandora's box also you know so so please reach out if you do want to know that that the beginning video it really does help people you know I understand a lot more now through what I've learned 
is is that your soul urge numbers and your destiny number and your karmic number they're, they're experiences that you're going to experience through all of your cycles and patterns of life and everybody starts to fear and wonder why the hell they're going through so much torment and stress was because it's your karmic number mine is seven which is well 16 so from the first house to the sixth house and then in the sixth house I've got Aries <laughs> okay so that's my karmic stuff so you can look at that as astrology but you can also look at it between one and six the sixth being the day of rest well seven seven be the day of rest and then eighth is the is the awakening to a newborn idea or newborn you know newborn <clears throat> but I'm March 8th you see so soul urge 8 and you can just map all these out as like a map of the a map of the world it's still like matrix and toriated programming via the internet programming one's own mind because it would still be your mind so you could have any of these as a rising or moon or anywhere in your chart fixed because some people could have like a Scorpio moon sign moon sign So then what you would pretty much do then is the fact that it's fixed. I mean, it's going to be fixed in trying to do something via the internet. If it's a fixed moon sign, water sign, then this could be relating to a lot of this here. You see, this thing that's going on here might be something that they hear, but because it comes from the mind, but they're like trying not to uh, see it anymore because this is the stuff that's hidden so they're trying not to see it it's kind of like they're they're a mystic and they know okay through this vibration of the card and they know something about this same energy here because you've got a lot of Sun Moon Rising and Venus people so they're trying to feel optimistic by blocking it out but it's still suppressed energy you see, it's like a bottle top that's ready to blow because someone's decided that they're forcing themselves to block it out and not learn the karmic lesson for a lot of you. For some of you, it's like forcing to... But you can, it doesn't matter. People that might blame me then or whatever, it doesn't matter because it's your karma. It's just, it's just karma. It's an experience that you've got to. <laughs> you've got to because it was written in your numerology. Okay? So there's something that someone doesn't like, it's either them or it's you, but it would still be a lesson either way. Of somebody that's trying to not see something, are they're, they're, I mean if you've blocked it out and you're done and you're finished and you're done and it's a relationship, then that's done and that's over. But if someone's done and they're over but they're still watching, that's a completely different matter. But you don't have to worry whether they are or whether they're not. As long as you know, Scorpio, that you're done and you're over, that's all that really matters. Now, they can continue on their karma if they're forcing themselves to want something but not admit something about oneself. This can go vice versa, cross watchers or anybody. If you don't admit one thing about, if you have feelings and emotions for somebody so in depth but you're blocking them out but then you just sit there with them blocked out but you can't face the fact that love is still a feeling that's there there's an underlining major feeling that's there but you're trying to block it out and not experience it because it's too painful then you're just going to put yourself through more pain okay is, is, is what i'm picking up through these cards because because of the moon being here because it representing other people sun moon rising and venus or the same people or person because it's like someone's trying to feel optimistic about the future of desire but stuff that's still locked away you see through desire it's still locked away in the subconscious this is the moon this is the memory okay the breath the earth the mother the life the birth the growth everything spiritual growth birth brilliant yeah brilliant if you're looking at spiritually it's brilliant but through relationship factor of the krypton factor 
is is that there's a fact matter of fact like matter of fact that some people are watching some people via the internet and some people are trying to like continue on doing that here and then some people are trying to just move away from that now like i said if people are doing that because they don't have any feelings for the other person and they're just not really in their mind then they're moving forward optimistically and they've actually left it behind it doesn't matter of the sign okay now for some people if you're blocked them out on the internet but you're sitting there thinking and wondering and desiring and thinking wondering and design and you're suppressing all that design into your matrix hard drive and you're pushing it all down that's leading to more denial you know so of your karma still still karma but if you're clear sentient clear minded okay clear minded of your path but there's something yet to still be discovered for other people obviously there's loads more to be discovered right that there is i still keep feeling feeling intuitively that some have witnessed something that they're really trying to block out and they really are trying to move away from but it's still like being locked away in their subconscious regardless there's stuff that still needs reaching for reaching spiritually spiritually reaching there's more to be revealed spiritually so if you're looking at this as a spiritual factor you could well be told something spiritually is what i'm told is what i'm told because this is the crown chakra still it's part of the moon of the head so there's something still yet going to come through from because this is the akashic records i keep picking these cards the akashic records there's something that's going to be a fed from aries leo sagittarius implanted or an idea implanted into the matrix system so that is also like parts of what i'm doing what the beginning video is do you know because you've got different people cancer scorpio pisces and pisces i just keep picking these out here here and this here because it's all still of the same suit if you like suitors someone's got a new suitor or a new karmic suit <laughs> so like 2.0 a bit like a uh, robocop but um someone's got a new design and that might be why i come up with that in my defense my intentions were good design but i'm a dreamer by design and i know in time i'll put this behind for what it's worth i'm sorry for the hurt i'll be the first to say i made my own mistakes for what it's worth i know i'm just a word but words betray but sometimes we lose our way yeah someone's lost their way someone's lost their way for some of you but trust me when you're spiritual and you're looking to your life paths and, and everything you can feel lost spiritually you know marilyn monroe believe it or not was a life path number seven and stephen hawkins i know people are not if you are but look what happened to marilyn monroe she was so intelligent and so gifted but you can destroy yourselves by so much that gets fed through your life path number because there's good vibrations and high good vibrations <laughs> good vibrations you know you've got to look at in depth of your life paths is really what i'm trying to give everybody as knowledge you know don't don't uh, ever worry be happy of your life path number because it's discovering your life's journey your soul journey your life's journey don't be afraid <laughs> gotta pick that up as well don't be afraid of me don't be afraid of me is what i picked up but that was just a song i picked up through the gemini and leo reading i think uh by jet move on it was called move on someone wants to move but someone wants someone to move on it's like you need to move on is what i'm picking up move or like someone wants to move out or they just want peace <laughs> they just want peace man someone just wants peace and quiet is also what i'm picking up like 
because this can be like oh just leave me alone <laughs> you know i need to dream my design i need to dream up my design here because i'm a dream of dream design and i don't know why left this behind you put this behind for what it's worth i'm sorry for the hurt i got because sometimes we lose our way keep really playing out that song in my head the map of my head by muse as well <laughs> so okay uh, three 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 on the clock so all the cards will start to appear and guide you towards reach out please reach out if you really want help you really want to dive into your subconscious memory there's a great program that I've designed not program it's not I'm just going to be giving you homework and telling you stuff that will probably blow your mind but that's only if you want to reach out you know I'm not going to force that upon anybody but it's a great feedback and it really helps me and it has helped me since I've discovered it on my path of discovery it's really helped and that's why I'm trying to promote that so if you want to reach out please reach out and the link is below for you to follow the email okay uh, but also like I said the cards in the beginning videos say that this will be on Patreon or Vimeo in the monthly another card here and clarify everything to give me a bigger picture to tell you what this is all about for your September okay all right guys thanks for watching sorry for a slow start but it took me a little bit to pick up the the signals of what this really is because it's heavy it's because the moon is here and these cards are here that's why it's like someone's disappeared on the internet but they're still there <laughs> it's like disappeared but their energy is still there or someone's energy is still there but there's a dreamer of design is what I'm picking up so anyway we're gonna see uh, carry on okay alright guys thanks very much for watching peace